Hey, it's Aaron from GameWithThoos.com, and I am checking out Human Anatomy VR for the PSVR. Uh, so you see my move controls are represented here. Left. So a lot of games don't do this. I appreciate this L and this R. Thank you. Good thinking. Uh, I'm going to go over to settings. Uh, got it the way I want it. Let's check out the tutorial. All right, tutorial. Welcome to Anatomy uh, Explorer, like the tutorial. You can teleport around by pressing the move button, uh, keep pressed and point at the marked spot on the ground. Use this button. So I'm gonna go stand right in front of, whoa, Mr. Skeleton, okay. Tutorial, you can interact with the body in the application. Let's select something. Put the controller close to the highlighted bone and touch it with the ball on the controller. And using the trigger button so we're just going to, wow okay it just is this okay cool excellent now put the bone back in, into the body uh, like anywhere uh, right here I, I, that that might hurt there you go, there you go there. okay no i'll put it back where it belongs do you like a little bit of magic sure gently push the t button on the controller and direct it onto the bone. Okay, but did you see the bone come at you? Did you see, did you see the bone came at you and I put it back? Did it though? I don't, ah, okay, I see. All right, we love shortcuts and one of them is hiding here. Press the X button on the right controller to go one step back okay I'm pretty sure I'm pressing that button there we go you simply redo the step by pressing the circle button square button to display the main menu all right we got geez okay to turn systems and functions on and off in the application simply press buttons in the menu let's try it press the muscles button tap it on tap with the white ball on the controller so I'm gonna go to that oh look, look at that we got skeletal system the muscular system look at that all right let us show you how to hide particular muscle layers press the minus sign inside the muscle button to hide the upper layer ah interesting to show layers again simply press the plus sign Voila. To turn the system off, simply press the system button. All right. And again, turn the muscles on. Okay, let's try some functions. On the main menu, press the hide button. Boop. You're supposed to be hiding, go hide. You've just activated a function to hide parts of the body. Gently press the T button and point the laser beam at the chosen muscle or bone. Then press the button entirely. Okay, what? Look at that again. Gently, uh, gently press the T button and point the laser beam at any chosen. Okay. Ah, you can hide at least five body parts. Huh. There should be more going on in here. I'm just, I'm just telling you. You can easily show all the hidden parts. Press the small button. Do it. Okay. To continue, turn on the nervous system and turn off the muscular system. So I'm going to turn on nervous. Look at that. To explore all the human body structures in detail, we have a special mode for you. Click the ant mode button in the menu. Ant mode. What is that about? Uh, you are now many times smaller and can fly around and go right into the human body. Check it out. Push the move controller. Push the move button on the controller forward and aim the controller in the desired direction. Okay. Oh wow, that's gonna make me dizzy. Can't, I, okay, I gotta slow that up. Oh boy. And I know I am a, uh, I'm a VR lightweight, I know. I, but it is what it is. No, I don't, okay. Follow the highlighted spot. I didn't do any of that, so. Can I go back? Hmm. 
No, that doesn't seem to be working. Oh, just aim it backwards. Okay, now where is this highlighted spot? Boop. Let's take it back. Take it back now, y'all. One hop, one hop. Okay. Okay, great. Notice that when you hold the control in a certain direction with the move button pressed, you are flying in that direction. Now follow the... Where the heck is the highlighted spot? What, what am I missing here? Ah, there it is. Okay, I feel like I'm right in the middle of it now. Okay. Am I not in the highlighted spot? You'll become familiar with the ant mode. To continue, disable the ant mode using the button on the... Okay, there we go. Boom. You did it. You are ready to use Anatomy Explorer. Press the square button. To cancel, press square button. Okay. Does it not like when I hit the square? Okay, I'm pressing this. Is my controller? Okay. Oh, boy. I did buy two new move controllers. I'm not... Honestly, I don't know which one they are. I think those are the two I'm using. But these buttons don't really seem to be responding as snap, snappily, snappy as they should. Okay, now loading. All right. Uh, here you will see important information for selected structures. Select a structure. Oh, wow, look at that. Um, lymphatic. Lymphatic vessels originate in intercellular spaces, fissures between cells. Lymphatic capillaries carry the lymph through the collection of lymphatic vessels to lymphatic trunks, from which the lymph is transferred to the nervous system. The lymphatic vessels merge together to form bigger units, and the biggest one is the thoracic duct, the ductus thoracicus. Thorac thoracicus. I added a T there for some reason. Thoracicus. <laughs> These vessels are between one to two millimeters in diameter. Nope, 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 go back. No, nope, I don't need you that close. Stay right there. There we go. Uh, consists of the endothelium that is covered by a thin fibrous layer. These vessels are equipped with valves that prevent the reverse flow of the lymph. Let me say that again. <laughs> that prevent the reverse flow of the lymph. As a, uh, as a whole, lymph vessels resemble a chain of balls. All right. What is, what is the A? What is the, oh, what, no, I don't, stop it. Stay there, all right. What, what, where did the keyboard come from? I don't, stop it. Oh, I hit search. This thing is, okay. So there's a lot here. Okay, cool. Uh, let's check out the arteries. Let's rotate. This is pretty neat, actually. Okay. Uh, I feel like... Yeah, let's rotate you back to the way you were. All right. Uh... Why did it just... That, oh, oh, okay. Like there's more, oh. <laughs> okay. That, all right, that, mm-hmm. Oh, there's even more here, look at that. More and more and more. More, I tell you, okay. I'm not sure why this is so limited once I hit that, but, okay. Um, here we are. All right. Uh, I'm not sure why it's so limited when I hit. Yep. Oh, cut. What is that? Oh. Look at that. That is neat. Look at this. That is really cool. No, I, okay, now put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Okay, no. Nope. Go back. There you go. Okay. That is really cool. So let's see if I rotate it. Oh, no. 
This is my controller. The battery, the battery. And I charged it fully. I don't. You know what? I'll just. I'll just move myself. That seems to be the, the best thing to do here. That is really kind of neat. You can just do it sideways. It's, why do I have lips? Ah, gastrointestinal. That, yep, that would make sense. Okay. Um, I guess I don't really have to press it. I can just, I really am just tapping it. I'm not really pressing anything. So this is the integumentary. It's the largest one. Oh, your skin. Yes, the largest. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, veins and arteries. Interesting. Oh. All right. It's funny, I was actually having a conversation with uh, my kids about, you know, their, their favorite topic, um, you know, sexual reproduction, which they get all weird about. You know, I guess, you know, dad talking about that kind of dad talking about sex, but it's like, you know, um, I'd rather them hear some form of the truth from me than listen to their silly friends, which I always tell them, they always get offended, but it's like, you know, you and your friends don't, you know, as great as you all are, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to be learned here. Where, where is the brain here? Do I need to cut? Where, where's the brain? Okay, I didn't mean to take that, so go back. Go. Go. Oh, undo all. I gotta get these controls down. No. No, undo, undo, undo. Okay. Ah, oh, you heard the background too. We got get rid of the cut. All right, let's go back to the. Okay, well I can't really see the brain because that's why I brought the cut out. To no, stop. No, I don't. Ah. There we go. Oh, let's get rid of the skeleton there and then just see the whole brain. Boop. Look at that. You can just go through the layers. That is so cool. No, nope. get out. Stop it. Well, since sacrum's up here, I may as well read it. It consists of five fused sacral vertebrae. The upper part of the sacrum articulates with the last lumbar vertebrae through art articular processes. On the posterior surface of the sacrum, there are four parts of openings, dorsal sacral foramina, uh, for the exit of the spinal nerves. It is inserted like a wedge like inserts in a wedge like manner in the bones of the pe of pelvis. Read an article there. It's fine. Uh, with which it is articulated with the sac okay. sacroiliac joints. Okay, I'm gonna do that one. Okay. So we have the brain. And I can okay. Now I'm starting to get it. So I can take it and oh wait a minute. I wanted the whole. Th I wanted to have that part be here. The dura the dura mater, the superficial membrane, uh, and forms a rigid cover over the brain and spacious sac for the spinal cord. Two. Uh, Meningeal layers, pia matter and arachnoid matter. Is that, does I say arachnoid? Are located under the dura matter. The pia matter covers directly the surface of the brain and spinal cord. The arachnoid matter is located more superficially. Well, look at that. Okay, now, now can I get like all the parts and, ooh, it just shifted there, that was weird. Okay, I wanna put them in order here. So I'm gonna put this one here, brain, dura matter, unfold. Ah, neat. Look at that. The cerebral hemisphere. All right. Look at that. The lobes, the left hemisphere. So I'll put this 
on the right, this will be on the left. No, 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 unfold. You were right the first time. Put that here. Can I move this part? Guess not. Well, what is this part? Oh, okay. Uh, hippocampus, right? I didn't mean to take the hippocampus. Go back it. Oh, keep. Oh, I don't like when it does that. Why is it not going? Go back. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. So it really is taking like individual pieces and parts. What? Spinal cord. Okay, the corpus. Wow. Let's do the ant mode thing. And okay, we're gonna. Why do? How come when I hit gender, like nothing is that? That I don't get that part. Okay, nope. What brain? Is the brain not there for? Like I don't. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I mean, it shouldn't be DLC. Like, I mean, most humans are female. So, <laughs> that would, yeah. <laughs> Pretty important. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's just keep moving. Wow. Look how big that is. Um. Okay, so in ant mode, you can't really, you know, oh, whoa, I'm like right in this thing, right, right in the brain here, okay, there's a whole lot going on, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, where am I, let's turn off that ant mode, okay, now, let's get the skeleton back up there. So they only have this portion of the skeleton for, that's weird. Maybe they're working on it, I don't know. It, that, the undo thing does not seem to be working the way I expected. I'm hitting the wrong button. So, let's see. Ooh. Come back down. No, don't, no, don't turn, no. Okay, all right. Was it really floating this whole time? I really thought it was. All right. Go back. Go back. Look at that. I'm using a rib cage. Well, the back portion. That's binoculars. Isn't that weird? Okay. Okay, the cervical vertebrae. The level of detail is really neat. The fact that name, you know, all these are. Rendered 3D objects is pretty cool. Yes, I turned it into some sort of sea creature. I am who I am. The thoracic vertebrae. The lumbar vertebrae. The lumbar yard. The, oh, the sacrum. Here we are. See, it all comes full circle. I believe this goes here. It does not. Hey, teeth. That is neat. I'm gonna hit undo all. Highlight. How does that work? Ah, okay. So if I highlight, I'm not pulling stuff. That, okay. That I'm kind of down with. So I'll pull the brain back up. And then go down to some of the layers. No, oh, okay. And point. It's just gonna show me, tell me what it is, and not pull anything. That's that's important to know. Okay, we're gonna undo all that. Go back to the skeleton. 
has a brain in it by default. Uh, respiratory. Take the skeleton away. We're going to highlight and learn. The trachea. Thyroid cartilage. Oral part of pharynx. Aura pharynx, as it were. Ooh, nasal cavities. Yeah, it is all connected. ENT. Well, not the E, but, you know. Speaking of that, where is all that stuff? So if I have the human here, and I... Wait till this turns blue. And then if I go like this... I don't know. Whoop. Here one day, go on the next. Okay. Oh, gotta get rid of the cut part. Boom. Uh, so we have nurse gastrointestinal. Let's mess around with that. Take the skeleton away. Let's rotate it ever so slightly. Now we're looking at the back. Oh, I took off highlight mode. Put it back, put it back. Why does it not? That, that is not what I wanted. Wait a minute, was I hitting the wrong button? Let's, let me take something else. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. I'm supposed to be hitting X on the left. What, what did that just do? Oh, took the background away. This thing is very sensitive, you have to be careful. We can sort things as well. Whatever that means. Test. Ooh. What? 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 what, what? Ah, the test is to put things back. That is cool. So I want like, I just throw it. Can I? Okay. Small intestine. This goes. Boom. Pretty neat. All right. Um, let's go to highlight mode. And we have a liver, stomach, esophagus, salivary glands, large intestine, small intestine, uh, the pancreas. Let us not forget how important this this is, which has the information about all of arts. So. This I like the whole thing. Blah, blah, blah. That's a large intestine. All right. Uh, the peritoneum is a thin uh, serous membrane forming the inner lining of the abdominal cap uh, cavity. It consists of two layers, the visceral, organ, and paredial wall. That's a lot of words, but it's all there. What's this text size? I'm such an idiot. Look at that. Uh, yeah, this is text size. So, that is pretty neat. Reload. Uh, yes, yeah, so what does that? What does that do? Oh, okay. We're just back to. There we go. Back to normal there. We want to leave the autonomy explorer. Not really, but I just want to see what it would do. So I'm going to just like take you back to the main menu, which is an interesting way of doing that, I guess. So, all right. It's behind me. Is that Mothra? What is that? Okay. Where am I? Who are you people? Stars. Anyway, that is... Uh, a little bit of Human Anatomy VR on PSVR. This is pretty neat. I know they have various versions of this. Um, I think they have some um, versions that are aimed more at, uh, I guess, like medical students. I guess this is more of a stripped down version. Uh, it's a lot of detail, though. I guess intended for, uh, I guess, schools, like high schools, things like that. So that's pretty, it's pretty cool, though, I have to say. This is pretty neat. Fact that just like 
I guess a built-in way you can do testing and whatnot. That's kind of neat. Where is it? Test. But they're all highlighted. It, I mean, you can tell by the, you know, what it, you know, I, they're all highlighted. So I guess, I don't know, I just want you to feel good about doing well, because they give you kind of all the, all the answers that, that you might need. This is still kind of weird that, like, you have, I guess, I guess maybe to, they, they only rendered what physically made, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like, I don't know how I feel. feel like maybe rendering everything for uh, the female body would have made sense. Uh, I don't know. Most humans are female. That would have, that would have actually been more representative of <laughs> the actual, you know, human race. But you know, whatever. Hey, hey, you know, here I am on my little little box here. Uh, well, something I can show the kids, and instead of trying trying to describe what everything is, I can, yeah. So my, this will be useful, actually. So, anyway, um, and reproductive organs, and there we go. All right. So this is I'm doing my outro yet again, but this is a little bit of Human Anatomy VR for PSVR. Pretty neat. Um, controls fairly well. Takes a little bit to get used to. I'm hoping that they add things like having more than more than this just for females. Uh, <laughs> um, but so far, what what is here is quite good. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of things are well defined, and that is very useful. And it's something that I guess is is called the Explorer for a reason. It's meant the intention is for people to explore and learn, and it certainly would aid in doing that. That is pretty neat. So. Yeah, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I keep hitting that background thing by accident. Some stuff should pop up on screen with more videos that you can also watch and like and comment on. And yeah, I guess the question I'll ask for this video is if this would have been out when you were much younger, I'm projecting because you know I'm uh, about to be 40, but when you were much younger, uh, how would this have made you, I, I guess, if, if this was out when back in the day when we had those weird, awkward sex education classes, if something like this was out, would it have been helpful or useful? I feel like it would have been, but I don't know. It's kind of neat. So, all right, I'm rambling. That wasn't really, really a good question. I'm tired. Forgive me. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Take care. Use your brain. Rotate it slowly, like a rotisserie. All right. Take care. Be blessed.